To begin accurate weather alert radio setup, press down on the small clip and slide the belt clip toward the top of the device. Remove the battery cover and install three AA alkaline batteries following the polarity diagram. Once you have done this, replace the cover and the clip and you can press the listen button to silence the device during setup. To enter quick setup, press menu and then the right arrow. Press OK. Now enter your same code. Find your same code using the links below or by calling the designated number. Please make sure you enter your same FIPS or CLC code and not the channel code. First, start by locating your state in the list, then click its link. As you'll notice, you'll be locating your code in the same number column, not the channel frequency. Then locate your county and input this code into your device. Use the up and down arrows to increase the number or decrease the number. Use the left and right to cycle through. And after you have entered the correct code, press OK. Next, it prompts you to scan for channels. Press OK when this comes across the screen. It will automatically select the strongest signal, which in this case is channel 2. Now enter your correct time zone. Use up and down to cycle through the choices and press OK when you have selected the correct time zone. Select your daylight savings time setting by pressing the up and down arrows and then OK. Now enter the current time using up and down to increase the numbers and left and right to cycle through. Then press OK when completed. Again, use up and down to enter the month, then press OK. Do the same with the date. And finally, the year. Quick setup is now complete and your radio is ready to use. You can verify your weather radio is set up correctly during test times. To verify the testing time in your location, contact the programming office for your weather radio station. Your NOAA radio is automatically set up to sound a siren for all warnings. However, you may also set up additional alerts. Press menu. Press the left arrow, then press OK. Now we will cycle to edit the alerts. Press the right arrow until it comes across the screen.
Press OK. You are prompted with the first type of alert. Administrative messages are off by default. To turn these on, press the up or down arrow. And as you'll see, it adds the bell icon at the bottom of the screen. This notifies you that the alert is activated. Note that warnings cannot be turned off, but they are in this menu to show you which alerts you will receive. To save your selection, press OK. This also brings you to the next type of alert. If you'd like to remove an alert that you have added, simply press the up or down arrow. After you have made your changes for which alerts you would like to receive, press the menu button to navigate back to the home screen. Your Accurate Weather Alert Radio setup is now complete.